sunflower inflorescence is a head or capitulum consisting of pistillate or sterile ray floret at the periphery and central hermaphrodite disc florets where the seeds are formed. Disc florets are bisexual but exhibit self incompatibility due to protrandus nature of the flower. In disc florets, the five petals are united to form corolla tube. Stamens are free and attached to the base of the corolla. All the five anthers unite to form anther tube called as syngenesious anther and style is inside the anther tube and stigma is bilobed. Coming to the anthesis and pollination, the disc florets are protrandus in nature. Flower opening starts from the outer wall and proceeds towards the center of the head. The head bloom within 5 to 10 days. The pollen grains are viable for 12 hours and anthesis takes place at 5 to 8 am. Self incompatibility operates leading to cross pollination. Coming to the methods of seed production in sunflower, varieties are raised under isolation and allowed to set by cross pollination. Whereas in hybrids, hybrids are produced by employing cytoplasmic genic male sterility as a tool. The varieties released from TNAU includes CO1, CO2, CO3, TNAU Sunflower 7, CO SFV5. Coming to hybrids, TNAU Sunflower Hybrid CO2 with the parents of COSF1A and CSFI99, BSH1, KBSH1, MSFH1, TCSH1. Stages of seed multiplication. In sunflower, seed is multiplied adopting three generation system as breeder seed, foundation seed and certified seed as the crop is often cross pollinated crop where the chances for genetic contamination is very high. Coming to the pollination, since it is a cross pollinated crop, normally it needs more insect activity. For increasing the insect activity, beehive should be kept in the seed production plot in adequate quantities. If insect activity is less, that leads to poor seed setting and formation of ill-filled seeds. Coming to the development of axillary flowers, normally this takes place during the summer because of high intensity of light. So, these types of axillary buds receive the nutrients and assimilates, whereas the main head does not get the required quantity of assimilates for seed set, thereby ill-filling occurs. Self-incompatibility. Due to the presence of self incompatibility, which leads to poor seed set and ill filled seeds. Micronutrient deficiency is due to zinc and ferrous, which is very important for the proper seed set in sunflower. Zinc is responsible for the production of IAA, whereas iron deficiency leads to sterility of the pollen. Coming to the season, the April and May is highly suitable season for irrigated seed crop. The flowering should not coincide either with rain or high relative humidity as it will wash out the pollen and the maturation should coincide with dry weather. The land requirement sunflower, the land selected should be fertile and avoid problem soils which will lead to low pollen fertility and will adversely affect the quality and the seed set will also be very poor. And then coming to the land requirements, the previous crop should not be the same crop to avoid the occurrence of volunteer plants and if happens to be the same crop, it should be the same variety and has been accepted for certification. Isolation distance, the isolation must be 400 meters for foundation class of seeds and 200 meters for certified class of seeds regarding varieties. Coming to hybrids, it is 600 meters for the foundation seed class and 400 meters for certified seed class. Sunflower seeds are always sown in ridges and furrows. So, the seed rate for varieties is 15 kg per hectare and for hybrids for male parent it is 12 kg per hectare and female parent 4 kg per hectare. And coming to the spacing, the variety needs a spacing of 45 into 20 centimeter whereas hybrids needs wider spacing of 16 to 30 for its establishment. Pre-sowing treatments are always recommended. Fresh seeds of sunflower exhibit physiological dormancy which could be broken by soaking the seeds in 300 ppm of ethyl for 8 hours or 0.5 percent KNO3 for 16 hours. Here the seeds are soaked in 2 percent zinc sulphate for 12 hours with a seed to solution ratio of 1 is to 0 
and seeds are dried back to their original moisture content of 8 to 9 percent. As an eco-friendly treatment, seeds can also be fortified or hardened with 1 percent moringa leaf extract for 16 hours. Seeds can well be dry dressed with bevistin at the rate of 2 grams per kg of seed to protect against the seed borne pathogens and soil borne pathogens. Seeds are also treated with asospirillum at the rate of 50 grams per kg of seed to fix the atmospheric nitrogen. Staggered sowing, there should not be more than 4 to 5 days difference in the flowering behavior to avoid the staggering problems. Next is the nutrient application. At last ploughing apply 12.5 tons of compost per hectare and the fertilizer requirement for the seed crop is 80, 40, 40 kg of NPK in which 40 kg of N and full dose of phosphorus and potassium is applied as basal while 40 kg of nitrogen is applied at the time of earthing up that is 40 to 45 days after crop growth. The seed crop is also sprayed with 2 percent DAP or 20 ppm NAA naphthalene acetic acid at 30 and 60 days after sowing. In case of deficient soils, the crop is sprayed with 0.5 percent borax at button formation stage. To have a weed free crop, application of fluochlorine at the rate of 2 liters per hectare as a pre emergence herbicide is recommended to control the growth of weeds up to 20 to 25 days. Afterwards, one hand weeding at the time of button stage helps to keep the field free of weeds. The next cultural operation is irrigation. The crop should be irrigated once in a week for enhanced seed set and formation of boulder grains. The critical stages of irrigation are primordial initiation stage, vegetative stage, milky and maturation stage. If the irrigation is withheld in these stages, the seed set will be poor and seed size will be reduced. The important operation, the supplementary pollination due to the lack of insect activity, particularly honeybees. Hence, critical or additional pollination is given to the crop for effective seed setting. That is, rubbing the heads of two neighboring plants with each other will also improve the seed set percentage. It is done during the mid flowering stage, that is, 58 to 60 days of planting for long duration varieties and 45 to 48 days for short duration varieties at alternate days between 7 to 11 am for about 2 weeks. Hand pollination can also be practiced here. The heads are rubbed with palm or muslin cloth so that the pollination can be affected. In hybrids, the palm is first gently rubbed on the male parental flask and then on the female line to transfer the pollen to the seed parent. Apart from this, we can also keep the beehives at the rate of 5 per hectare. The foliar application should be given at head opening stage at the rate of 2 percent DAP or 20 ppm NAA sprayed 2 times on 30th and 60th day after sowing for effective seed set. Coming to the pest and disease management, cutworm, whitefly, thrips, tobacco caterpillar, capitulum borer, alternaria blight, leaf spot, rust, downy mildew and head rot. Coming to roguing, plants are rogue from their vegetative phase to harvesting based on the plant height, head size, branching habit, number of heads and color of the seeds. In the hybrid crop, in addition to the above set characters, look for pollen shedders appearing in the A line. Pollinator rows may also be removed after pollination to avoid the confusion if the crop is lodged. Number of inspections for the certified seed crop. The minimum of 3 inspections are recommended for varieties and 4 inspections are recommended for hybrids. Here the first inspection should be made at the stage of 6 to 7 pairs of leaves in order to verify the isolation, volunteer plants and other relevant factors. The second inspection should be made during flowering to check the isolation, half types and other relevant factor. The third inspection for the varieties should be made at maturity and prior to harvesting to verify the designated diseases, true nature of the plant and head, characteristics of seeds and other relevant factors. 
for the hybrid seed crop in addition to volunteer plants and isolation distance we have to verify the outcrosses planting ratio errors in planting pollen shedders and others the field standards as per the indian minimum seed certification standards are half type should be permitted at the level of 0.1 percent for foundation class of seeds and 0.2 percent for certified class of seeds the plants affected by downy mildew the permissible limit is 0.05 percentage for foundation class and 0.5 percentage for certified class the next is the bird scaring at the time of maturation birds will create problem due to their feeding habit in sunflower hence from the time of milky stage of the seed proper protection should be given against the birds otherwise it will lead to reduction in the yield up to 80 percent coming to the harvesting the change of the thalamus color from green to yellow is a visual symptom of physiological maturation in sunflower the heads are harvested as once over harvest in case of hybrids male plants are removed first from the field and then the heads from the female parents are harvested thrashing the harvested ear heads are dried under sun before thrashing and heads are harvested with pliable bamboo sticks for extraction of seeds and the mocha content at that time of thrashing must be 15 to 18 percent to avoid the mechanical injuries on large scale production sunflower thrashes can also be used but care should be given to avoid mechanical damage which in turn will reduce the seed quality and storability next is drying the seeds are to be dried to 8 to 10 percent mocha content either under sun or adopting mechanical dryers for long term storage coming to processing mechanical grading can be done with cleaner come grader which will remove the undersized immature and sappy seeds the middle screen size should be 9 by 64 inches round perforated seeds the size can vary depending on the type of seed in sunflower the grader seeds are also can be upgraded through specific gravity separator for improvement in seed quality characters even the quality of the seed loss having 5 to 10 percent lesser germination than the minimum seed certification standard level can be upgraded through simple specific gravity separation the next is storage of seeds the treated seed can be stored up to 10 months provided the seeds are not infected with storage pest seeds can be stored up to 2 years if the seeds are packed in moisture vapor proof containers and are stored at low temperature we will learn about the seed production techniques of caster cross pollination is a rule in this crop it is mainly wind pollinated but insect activity is also seen to some extent since the young leaves just below the inflorescence exude copious nectar at the time of flower opening which causes insect pollination unisexual flowers elevated position of female flower in the inflorescence mechanisms to promote the wind pollination and nectar glands to attract the insect promotes the cross pollination in this crop here the male flowers open first that is protrandy in nature after one or two days of male flowers opening the female flowers open however protogyny is also reported in caster the opening is between 4:30 and 5 am and pollen grains are viable for 2 days and the stigma is receptive for 3 days each inflorescence takes about 10 to 12 days to complete the flowering caster is a cross pollinated crop and bin pollinated crop inflorescences are born terminally on the main and lateral branches the main stem ends in raceme which is the first or the primary raceme after the first raceme appears two or three branches arise at the nodes immediately below it each of these branches terminates in racemes after four or more nodes have formed which are known as secondary racemes branches arise from the nodes just beneath the secondary racemes ultimately terminating with tertiary racemes this sequence of development that is indeterminate growth habit continues in caster the racemes of caster are monoecious with the pistillate flowers and the upper 30 to 50 percent and staminate flowers on the lower part of the inflorescence as shown in the picture the promotion of pistillate and staminate flowers among the racemes varies a great deal 
both within and among the genotypes. It is influenced by the environment of the plant, genotype and nutrition. The female tendency is always highest during winter while male tendency predominates in summer and rainy seasons. Also the femaleness in young plants with high levels of nutrition is stronger than in old plants with low levels of nutrition. The monaceous which is the most natural occurring sex form of annual and perennial castor. The spike normally has 30 to 50 percent area in the base covered with male flowers and top portion with female flowers. Pistillate form which occurs as a rare recessive mutant with female flowers throughout the spike. The extent of female flowers may be 100 percent. The interspersed staminate flowers, in this case the interspersed male flowers appear all across the spike as variant from pistillate form. The next is the sex revertance. This is the form where the female turns into monaceous. The sex expression is highly influenced by environmental conditions and has been classified differently by different scientists. The important factors that affect the sex expression are temperature, it is important variable having strong influence on the sex expression. Temperature more than 32 degree centigrade is male promoting while in winter and cool climate the female flowers are more compared to hot summer climate. Coming to poor fertility and low nutrients, low nutrition and the poor fertility of soil leads to more male flowers to appear. Moisture content, the low moisture and water stress always induces the maleness in the plants. Age of the plant, later order spikes always have more male flowers compared to the early order spikes. Coming to the genetics of sex mechanism which is a complex polygenic inheritance and the sex expression is not a stable character in castor. Coming to the hybrids development in castor, the development of N type pistillate line that is N145-4 has led to the exploitation of hybrid vigor in USA during 1950. A 100% pistillate line DSP-10R was released during 1962 in USA. Another stable pistillate line NES-1 based on environmentally sensitive staminate flower character in combination with recessive sex switching gene released at Davis, California during 1964 which is widely used now. In India, Gujarat first started the hybrid seed production in mid 60s. First hybrid in India was released during 1968 in Gujarat as CGH3, Gujarat Haster Hybrid 3. Using the imported female line DSP 10R crossed with JI 15. Indigenous pistillate line BP1 was developed at Vijaypur which facilitated further release of castor hybrids. Coming to the pistillate mechanism used for hybrid seed production, in addition to the monoecium, a sub form of diosium exists in castor which has led to the identification of three different pistillate mechanisms. N type or conventional mechanism. It is governed by a recessive sex switching gene. The production of F1 hybrid seed using the N pistillate line, the producer is required to rogue out the normal monoecious plants before anthesis to obtain 100 percent production of pistillate plants in the female rows. The second type is the S type or non-conventional mechanism. Femaleness is controlled by a polygene complex with the dominant and epistatic effects in which the plant starts as a female but a reversion can occur at any time. Use of this pistillate line is beset with the problems of lack of stability of the expression of pistillate character as large number of revertants as well as monoecious plants was observed in the population. Example, the BP1 derived from TSP10R, NES type of mechanism. In the NES type, the plant has recessive gene FF that allows it to start as female, but the presence of environmentally sensitive genes triggers a sexual reversion when temperature is higher than 31 degree centigrade. In crossing fields, hybrid seed production plot that is usually one or two rogings of the female line are sufficient to ensure that all the flowering plants are pistillate to remove the half types that appear. 
Example, the original population of VP1 was thoroughly screened under high temperature to eliminate the monoecious plants as well as early revertants. Here the seed setting in the selected totally pistillate lines is facilitated by the production of interspersed female flowers under the influence of environmental sensitive genes. Coming to the production of hybrid castor seed, the production of single cause hybrid seed lines giving a 1 is to 1 ratio of pistillate and heterozygous monoecious plants are used. In the crossing plot, the later are robed out 1 to 5 days before the flowering begins. Female plants are then cross pollinated by a selected male pollinator lines. As many as 6 rogings may be necessary to keep the cell pollination to a minimum level. Varieties of castor are SA1, SA2, TMB4, TMB5, TMB6, CO1, etc. The hybrids available in India GCH3, GAUCH1, GCH2, GCH6, TMBCH1 and YRCH1. India is the largest producer of castor in the world. In India, Gujarat is the leading state followed by Andhra Pradesh. The land requirement, well drained fertile soil should be selected for castor seed production. The crop cannot tolerate the alkalinity and salinity. It performs well with medium to deep sandy loam and heavy loam soils are highly suitable for seed production. Coming to the isolation distance requirements for both the varieties and hybrids, 600 meter is recommended for foundation class of seed and 300 meter is recommended for certified class of seeds. Seasons, summer and karif provide ideal male promoting environment. Female parents when raised in male promoting environment produce the environmentally sensitive staminate flower which are very essential for seed production of the female parents. Coming to seeds and sowing, the seed rate for varieties is 10 to 15 kg per hectare depends on the varieties. And for hybrids, the female parent should be 5 to 7 kg per hectare and male parent should be 2 to 2.5 kg per hectare. For varieties, the spacing must be 90 to 20 to 90 to 40 and for hybrids, it is 90 to 30 and 90 to 60 centimeters. For hybrids, the planting ratio would be 3 is to 1 or 4 is to 1 and the number of border rows may be 3. Coming to roguing, which is the most important activity in the hybrid seed production plants. Here in castor during the first rowing, the deviance must be observed for both the parents. Immediately after the primary spike initiation in the male line, examine the plot for number of nodes up to the primary spike and the expression of sex, proportion of male to female flowers and other spike characters specific to the male parent. During the second roguing, the seed producer has to examine every female plant for possible reversion to the monasium at all spike orders. The irrigation, coming to the irrigation level, the critical stages are primordial initiation and flowering stage in differential segmental order of branches. The moisture stress in the sensitive growth stages may lead to production of more of male flowers in the monasious varieties. Coming to plant protection, the semi lupus, red hairy caterpillar, tobacco caterpillar, capsule borer, jacids, and white flies are the major pests of castor. Wilt, root rot, grey rot, ceiling blight are the diseases seen in castor. Piston diseases can cause serious losses at any stage of growth and hence may be controlled by following appropriate control measures. Coming to harvesting of the seed crop, Castor produces 4 or 5 sequential order of spikes which can be harvested in 3 to 4 pickings starting from 90 to 180 days at an interval of 20 to 30 days. Premature harvesting always leads to reduced seed weight, oil content and germination percentage. If shattering is not at all a problem in the variety, harvesting can very well be delayed until all capsules are fully dried. Next is grading. The seeds are size graded using round perforated metal sieves of 8 by 64 inches seeds. Coming to seed storage, the seed should be treated with theorem at the rate of 2 grams per kg of seeds. So, to summarize, 
we have seen about the seed production techniques that to the special techniques of supplementary pollination and other things in sunflower and the sex expression, the special character to castor and other the cultural practices in this class. Thank you. Thank you.